What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to make interactive heat maps out of your Google location history. If you have an Android device, your location history is documented and can be viewed to some extent on Google servers. But developer Theo Pat has created an awesome tool that lets you visualize this data in a much nicer format. First step here is to head to Pat's website. I've got all the relevant links ready for you over at the full tutorial, which can be found in the description below this video. And once you arrive at this page, the instructions are pretty straightforward. It lets you know that you'll need to download a copy of your location history from Google Takeout. And there's a handy link for that right here in the middle of the page. And once you get to Google Takeout, click the Select None button, then scroll down to the bottom of the page and toggle Location History on. From there, click Next. Then on the following page, hit this Create Archive button. Give it maybe a minute or two to repair the archive. And then when it's ready, click Download. And once you've got the file saved to your computer, head to your Downloads folder. There's only one file in the zip archive that you need. It's called locationhistory.json. So extract that to a folder that you can get to easily, then you'll be just about ready to check out your heat map. So head back to Pat's website, then simply grab that JSON file and drop it right on top of this window. All of the data is processed on your end of the connection, so you don't have to worry about your location history falling into the wrong hands. And within a few seconds, your heat map should be generated. It's interactive in the sense that as you zoom in further, the hotspots re-render to expose more detail, so it's not just one big red blob that gets bigger as you zoomed out. I really like this, because unlike the simple plotted points that Google's location history website gives you, this actually shows you where you spent most of your time. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.